Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to High Media TV. I'm your host, Evan, from High Media TV. And today, we are going to uh, be covering some funny de novo news. We hate kernel-level anti-cheat here, and it's very funny. But our top stories of the day. Microsoft removes the $1 Xbox Game Pass trial just before the Call of Duty Black Ops 6 release. Remedy's new game, FBC Firebreak, a co-op shooter, is based in the is now based in the Control Universe. Nintendo Switch Online is adding the classic Banjo Tooie to their con their virtual console. And on to our main story. Uh, if you want to see some coverage of the other stories mentioned in the headlines, check out our YouTube Shorts feed. Denova opens its own Discord server to rehabilitate its image and has to shut it down after two days after players flood in to bully them. Who could have seen this coming? Today's despised company that bafflingly decided to open up a door to unmediated public engagement, DeNovo, the DRM software that the whole internet is perpetually angry about. Good reason. Where curious onlookers can come and ask it questions about DRM tech, their FAQs about how DeNovo functions, the latest DeNovo news, and fatally, channels where passersby can ask DeNovo devs questions, chat, and post memes. No prizes for guessing the result. Two days after throwing its doors wide open, with nearly 2,000 people on the server, they, de novo, sheepishly returned to Twitter, trans rights, but it's okay to dead name Twitter, to announce that, as you can imagine, the amount of inappropriate content has made moderation quite challenging for our small team, who are doing this alongside our regular day-to-day -day work. For that reason, we decided to make some changes to the server, which we'll be implementing over the next few days. Stay tuned. No one's been able to post on the server for two days at the time of writing this article. The entire server has been put into read-only mode until DeNovo can figure out a way to stop it from being flooded with people scraping obscenities at them. I suspect the worst of the worst has been scrubbed from the server by mods, and certainly a lot of user has been warned for bad word usage messages from the automated mod lining around, but a brief wander through the frozen in time channels reveals people posting pro piracy memes, wishing bankruptcy on the company and hitting it with sick birds like, did you guys enable slow mode just so we can experience slowdown in Discord like any game that uses your DRM? Yeah, to know, like, they use kernel level anti-cheat, which is disgusting and reviled and, and awful. Every game that uses de novo uh, is worse off for it. And I want to remind everybody that when it comes to, you know, anti-piracy measures, accessibility and ease of use is what prevents piracy, not DRM. Good old games continues to make a, kill, a, a killing despite being a competitor for Steam and having all of its games be DRM free. There is a reason why they do well. Obviously there are cases where some games, you know, are not as well, like are, are well protected, but by and large, most people will buy a game, especially on places like Steam. Cause you have to remember that Steam showed that ease of use and convenience, if you have to make getting the game more convenient and more easy to do than just pirating it and you know digital downloads and all of the tools that steam offers does do that i think drm in the form of de novo is you know things like that they are ultimately uh counterintuitive and make games run worse there are like i would get a cracked version of a game that had de novo not because even though i already paid for it just so the game would actually fucking function properly that's the big thing the biggest problem i have with things like de novo is that they're so obsessed with making sure that they that things don't get pirated that they end up selling an inferior product that honest to god makes people like less happy and cause more refunds and less profit I genuinely believe that if companies did a better job of making games, you know, run better and have good content while, you know, treating their customer bases with dignity and respect, they would make more money. There are obvious examples of this. You have your Elden Rings, you have your Baldur's Gate 3s, and these are very, very, your No Man's Skies even. These are very, very much good examples of people who, even if they made mistakes, did a very good job at, you know, listening to the community 
parsing what the community actually wants versus what they say they want and you know implementing uh systems that are rewarding and fun without having to do bullshit uh um bloatware that makes their games run and they could reduce capacity so i think de novo deserves to be bullied and the moment they open it up again i'm probably going to join and bully them too hey thanks for watching if you want to you want to talk to me outside of this video outside of live streams or just be a join the community and be a part of it you can do so at hivmedia.gg slash discord discord links there we'd love to have you and given the financial situation of the economy right now i know this is a tall ask but if you have the scratch to, to spare please consider donating and becoming a supporter at hivmedia.gg slash tip all of our perks are serviced through our discord channel including early access videos exclusive videos and more your generosity is a blessing and a dollar a month is a boot to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you and have a great day.